They say that laughter is the best medicine, and if that is true, in 1994 I would have laughed out all of my ailments the day my brother and father came home from work and told me how earlier that day they were attacked by a dog. This week on Sackville Sunday Stories. So crank it up. House party, massive paper cut from here to here. There was a guy walking a ferret on a leash on Cobblehood Road. Every spring when the leaves came in, mom would always take us outside and place us in front of the azalea trees or in front of the bushes or what have you to take family photos. Mom was the queen of Instagram before there was an Instagram. Popping up photos all the time. Hashtag no filter. Mom took lots of photos. And this particular day, I was standing in front of the maple tree and the azalea when my brother and my father got home from their day of construction. They jumped out of the truck and the two of them were laughing so hard they were holding each other up. I said, what happened? And that's when they told me this story. My brother joined the family construction business. I, I didn't. If only dad had started a television studio, that would have been really good for me, but I'm happy for both of them. But this one particular day, they came home and they were laughing so hard. I had to say, like, what happened? Why are you guys laughing so hard? And that's when Ryan and dad started telling me this story. See, they were on the job site and they were getting ready to leave and there was a guy that they gave a ride home to, okay? So Charlie needed a ride home. So they're like, yeah, no problem, Charlie. We'll give you a ride home. They drive him to his place. They park the truck in the driveway. He says, wait a second. Thank you so much for driving me home. Let me give you some vegetables from my vegetable garden. Dad and Ryan said, no, that's okay. He's like, just wait one second, one second. And leaves them in the driveway and goes into the house, gets a grocery bag, goes over and starts pulling some carrots and whatnot from the garden all the while. All the while, there is a dog house on the other side of the lawn, and a dog is chained to that dog house. And when I say chain, I'm not talking about the little chain you would go down to Sobeys and buy in the pet aisle. I'm talking like an industrial chain. And it is bolted to the dog house and around the neck of the biggest, the meanest German Shepherd that those two had ever seen in their entire lives. And guess what? He was not happy. Now that dog was just pulling on that chain. He was running and just snapping at the end of it, just like, oh, oh. didn't even care about his own neck. He was just trying to kill my father and my brother and didn't care about his own well-being. And my brother and dad, they were nervous, but they were like, man, that's a big chain. There's no way that chain's gonna break, but they were still, they were still a little skittish because this dog was just so hell-bent on killing them. Now the chain didn't break. It did not break, it did its job, however, the board to which the chain was bolted snapped off the doghouse. And now the German Shepherd is running straight at them across the lawn, dragging about 30 feet of industrial chain. And he is vicious. Dad was scared. He screamed. He took the Lord's name in vain. And he and Ryan made a beeline for the truck, both of them sprinting as fast as they can. They had a fair distance on the dog, but he was breaking ground super fast, getting closer and closer, growling, snarling, dragging that chain right behind him. Now Ryan, being a teenager, slightly outperformed Dad on the running to the truck. So he got there to the passenger side, slightly ahead of Dad. He opens the door. He jumped in. Dad was running behind him. Ryan reaches, grabs the door, and slams it shut. And then he flicks the lock. Dad stopped at the truck. Ryan and Dad, face to face, looking at each other for a fraction of a second through the glass. Dad was like, you sold me out. Ryan was like, yeah, I know, but I'm sorry. And the dog approached. After that split second that they stared at each other, Dad knew that he had to get on the move right away. So he got those old legs of his moving. He ran down the side of the truck towards the back. Ryan watched Dad go in the passenger side mirror. He said that everything was moving in super slow motion at that point. Just Dad running down the side of the truck. He saw the dog coming across their yard. The dog got so close to the truck that Ryan couldn't see him anymore, but he knew that he was in pursuit of my father. Dad got to the back of the truck. Ryan switched his eyes to the rear view mirror and could see Dad running past the tailgate. Then, as he turned the corner, Ryan looked at the driver's side mirror and saw Dad running up the side of the truck. Still no sign of the dog, but he knew that he was close. 
Dad got to the door, reached in, and his fingers slipped off the handle the first time. Ryan saw Dad reach for the truck handle the second time, but just before he opened the door, Dad looked to the back of the truck. Ryan couldn't see the dog, but he knew that he had turned the corner because Dad went... And he grabbed the door, opened it, jumped in, and slammed it closed, narrowly missing, getting bit by that German shepherd. Ryan and Dad were safe in the truck, but the dog was still angry. He continued to run laps around the truck, barking and snarling and jumping and biting the air. At the end of Charlie's driveway, he had a statue. It was a miniature replica of Christ the Redeemer. The dog ran over to the statue, looked at Ryan and Dad in the truck, cocked his leg, and blasphemously peed all over the statue of Jesus. Ryan and Dad were somewhat safe. They snickered at this moment. That's when Charlie came out, gave them the vegetables. They were on their way home. They told me about that story when they got back. And I laughed so hard that it resulted in this picture. This has been Sackville Sunday Stories, and my name is Chad. This channel is for you. Whether you're an old school sack villain or a new school sack vegan, we'll see you next time on Sackville Sunday Stories. Sackville.live is brought to you in part by the Doctor's Formula, plant-based supplements for professional athletes. And our friends at Quick Save Fuels on Cobequid Road, go to quicksavefuels.com to save.